A huge trend in recent sci-fi films and literature, cryogenic sleep might be the next big thing in medtech innovation. From Christopher Nolan's award-winning blockbuster Interstellar, or maybe Ridley Scott's Alien, cryogenic sleep is all the rage. Science fiction has long been a go-to for predictions of what the future has in store for us. From military drones to self-driving cars, the technology industry has really brought a number of those ideas into existence. Knowing this, it's no surprise that NASA is keen on actually transforming this fictional technology into a real-life application. They're definitely going to benefit from it if they manage to pull it off. But is it really possible? Join us as we investigate the use of cryogenics and how it can be used for space exploration in the future. If you want to find out what a couple did to stay hopeful about their young child, stay till the end of this video. Oh, and to have a good night's sleep. Indeed, most of us are getting less than the needed amount of sleep, slogging around our workplace like zombies that are autopiloted by coffee. In fact, according to the American Sleep Association, sleep deprivation could also be a major issue. 35% of adults said that they were getting less than the suggested minimum of 7 hours of sleep, while 38% said that they're accidentally falling asleep throughout the day. The intense pace of our lives needs us to be rested, alert, and awake in order for us to be efficient. This is the same within the world of space exploration. With their long list of duties, falling asleep on the task could be really dangerous. Human bodies are not meant for space. We require too much maintenance to travel our way through the stars. We need a steady supply of things that do not exist from space, namely water, food, and oxygen. And even if we could survive in an icy vacuum without being sustained with our needs, we'd probably go crazy without distractions and a space to move. But aeronautic engineers believe that they have found the key to solving that puzzle. And that is to put your space travelers in long-term cryogenic and human hibernation. Also known as cryosleep or suspended animation, cryogenic sleep refers to a deep sleep by keeping the body at super low temperatures. By preserving the body at these low temperatures, the body's metabolism is diminished to its lowest conceivable level. The concept is that the low temperatures will keep the body's vital functions intact while the rest of the body goes into a hibernation-like state, like what you see in most mammals. Interestingly, NASA and SpaceWorks Enterprises are currently developing a stasis chamber in contrast to the individual pods like those we see in the movies, which could induce an extended state of torpor brought by lowering the body's temperature to mild hypothermia which would allow astronauts to snooze for at least two weeks on end during longer missions. Apparently, astronauts do not realize that they are being frozen to sleep. But according to an article by Sci-Fi, there is no need to fear being frozen to sleep because it actually counteracts potential injury to bodily tissues that could result from hypoxia and could also prevent the harmful side effects of microgravity exposure. Sounds rather risky, don't you think? However, if they manage to make this work, it would really be a game-changer for all of us. But what about their food and nutrients? Will the astronauts starve inside a chamber? To guarantee that they get the correct nutrients and oust toxins, their bodies will be connected to an intravenous drip and catheter, and in that way, they will still receive the food and nutrients that their body needs. On the other side, putting astronauts to deep sleep may also cause muscle problems. Like coma patients, the longer they are in a vegetative state, the longer they have to rehabilitate their bodies once they wake up. Just like in cryogenic sleep, if your body isn't moving, it's not going to get stronger. If the human body is unable to perform exercises for a long period of time, there is a high possibility that the muscles and bones will weaken. That would really be terrible to wake up from, because if your body is not in a good condition, it would definitely make things complicated for you in doing the basic everyday stuff. So how will they solve this kind of problem? To make sure that the muscles in our body will remain active, an induced muscle stimulation by utilizing electrical pulses will be done. These pulses will deceive the muscles into thinking that the body is happy with the atrophy or muscle decay, allowing the astronauts to get right back to work instantly, right after they wake up from being asleep for so long. 
Another problem would be who's going to travel. If the right artificial intelligence is installed into the spacecraft, it could deal with the essential day-to-day -day operations of the spacecraft. Another possible solution is that the people would operate in shifts, having four people in the crew and the first have two people active during a few weeks of a long space voyage. Then they can wake up the other two and switch places with them. AI is definitely risky because while it can take care of most issues, that can arise inside the spacecraft, it could simply go rogue and try to massacre everyone. Aside from NASA and SpaceX, many other companies are using cryogenics as a way of preserving life. A main example of this is Alcor, which is the world's leader in cryonics. They believe that life can be stopped and restarted if its basic structures can be preserved, saying, when today's medicines give up, cryonics takes over. Cryopreservation costs $200,000 for the whole body and $80,000 for the brain. And even if this could empty your pockets, a lot of people even pay in advance just to make sure that their life can be extended or paused. From an article by The Sun, a couple from Thailand chose to have their late daughter's brain cryogenically preserved after her devastating death from brain cancer in 2015, just before her third birthday with the hope that one day they can bring their daughter's life back saying that I am certain that we are heading towards deathlessness. That will be Ayn's time, says her father. Still, there is a lot of work to be done in order for this to be fully developed. While a rabbit's brain has been successfully revived after being frozen, experts have yet to find a way of preserving memories and proper brain function. In the following years, we might see a lot of prior preservation and might even sleep our way to the stars. If you had a chance, would you volunteer into something like this? Are you excited with these possibilities? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more substantial and awesome videos like this one. Thanks for watching.